He has millions of followers on TikTok who love to watch him do just regular dad stuff, and that's because he's your Korean dad. Nick Cho has built a massive following on social media with his fun and wholesome videos. His secret? Just doing everyday activities while spreading, spreading positive vibes in his own unique way. Hey, I'm your Korean dad. Hey, I'm your Korean dad. Hey, I'm your Korean dad. Nick Cho is a father figure to millions of people on social media with his viral TikTok account, Your Korean Dad. Hey, I'm your Korean dad. Thanks for coming with me on my errands. Glad you're with me. When did you conceive of Your Korean Dad and how did it translate from your brain into social media? Well, I have teenage daughters and they said, Dad, you should really get on TikTok. They know I've been making videos of some kind my whole life. And I just thought that it would be nice to make content that was wholesome and that maybe, you know, honestly, that helped sort of normalize the idea of being bicultural. Like Korean American is just as American as, as anyone else. His videos show everyday activities. Hey, I'm your Korean dad. I'm gonna cook some dinner tonight. And then we're having some gift side. It's gonna be yummy. Like cooking, shopping, hiking. I think we're almost at the top. Oh, we made it. Look at you. And even learning to ride a skateboard. So just do the count. Yeah, did it. What was the conventional wisdom behind not falling into the trap of the cliche, but using the platform for your voice to, to sort of teach other people? Sure. No, I appreciate that you saw that because that was very intentional. For me, the idea of, of the Korean dad that I'm portraying is that, first of all, it's a nice dad a loving and nurturing dad, that that's the most important thing. Nick spreads messages of encouragement. The good choices that you make today, especially the choices that are difficult, are proving to me and to others what you already know about yourself, that you're a good person and that you're trying your best. And persuades people to be kind and compassionate to each other and themselves. Can I show you something? This is a scar from when I got my appendix taken out. Talk to me about your post about uh, the appendix scar, which was such a great <laughs> metaphor. But it was such a great metaphor because I was like, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, I said that, you know, when you love someone, when you really love somebody, that you give them a piece of your heart and that no matter what happens, you don't get that piece back. And where that piece was taken from, it can feel like a wound. There's no such thing as getting over it. All we really have is to get used to it, kind of like my scar. But I hope you don't stop loving people, okay? Some people have called me kind of the new Mr. Rogers, and I really appreciate that. And I, I'm so, like, flattered by that comparison. But like Mr. Rogers, for me, is like I'm not here to give platitudes and just to make people feel better. I also want to do that through always reflecting truth and life lessons. Aside from being everyone's Korean dad, Nick is an entrepreneur. He's been in the coffee business for more than 20 years, currently running Wrecking Ball Coffee Roasters out of San Francisco with his wife, Trish. And I suspect that regardless of those 2 million followers, you would still be the same Nick Cho before that. It hasn't changed who you are inside. I check with my kids. They're the ones who are my truth tellers. So I ask them all the time, you know, how much of this is like me? How much of this is a character? And they say, well, it's, it's like a two-dimensional version of you, but it's you nonetheless. So that makes me feel good. Check this thing out. I feel like Wolverine. What will you do next with your Korean dad? Oh, such a good question. It's, it's a tough question because uh, there have been a lot of meetings with different people. There's talk of a potential television show or a YouTube channel, podcast. I don't know. We'll see. And I just really wanted people to feel like a, like a warm hug through the internet. Do your best to take care of yourself, okay? And I'll do my best to be here for you. Mm. Your Korean Dad YouTube channel recently launched, and that's where Nick hopes to have a more expanded version of the type of content that he has on TikTok, but with the same warm and wholesome vibe. Also, for people that might be wondering, that thing that yeah. he does with his fingers, mm -hmm. it's called a finger heart. Yeah. It became popular in Korea about a decade ago, and it means I love you. Yeah. I like that. Check out Your Korean Dad on TikTok to see his fun videos. They are so, they're, they're, they're funny without his trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. And, he, and he's also, he's just like, I'm just a human. I'm just a dad trying right. to do the thing. And so that was sweet, really enjoyable too, conversation right? with him. In a, in a world where we see lots of difficult stories and to have that refreshing voice kind of like there to, you know, pump yeah. you up, support mm -hmm. you, that was great.